We're here at the foot of the Humber Bridge and this iconic landmark links two great fishing ports, Hull and Grimsby. But there is another port linked to Hull and Grimsby that's linked just by the sea, the North Sea through to the North Atlantic and that port is Vestmany in Iceland. 56 years ago the whole city, a trawler from Grimsby, carried out the heroic rescue of eight men from the stricken trawler Gladur. Let's take a look now and see how that rescue played out and let's see also the bond and the relationship that has grown between Vestmany in Iceland and Hull and Grimsby in the intervening years. Here we are today in Fishgate in Hull and I'm with Orne Jonsson and you're the Managing Director of Atlantic Fresh. Yes. Just tell us Orne first what you do and tell us about Atlantic Fresh. Yes. Atlantic Fresh is a, is a marketing company of seafood and we, do, we, are, we are selling fish for the Icelandic trawler owners and fishermen. Uh, mostly what we receive here in England is Icelandic fish and we sell it here into the UK buyers and retailers. So we are the link between Iceland and England towards fish. So this fantastically modern fish market that you've got here, and actually we're in the auction hall here today, yes. that's responsible for a large percentage of the white fish bought into the UK. Yes, it's, it's, uh, we, we are selling a big percentage of the fish imports from Iceland through these fantastic mm. facilities here in Fiskit. And that relationship that we have between Iceland and the UK is a long relationship, maybe more than a thousand years yeah, old. It is, it? Uh, from what we know from the records, mm. it even goes down to 1800 and something, mm. so in, in business terms. So that close relationship, particularly between Iceland and Humber, Grinsby and Hull, mm. is a unique in a way. We've traded for uh, well over a thousand years with Iceland, uh, and, f and f mainly fishing, of course. Um, and let's face it, after a thousand years, if you can't get some kind of a relationship, well, you're, uh, you're, you're heading in the wrong directions. There is still tremendous camaraderie and respect for one another for the type of jobs they do. And, and I think today is, again, it's a very nice occasion where we can further cement and galvanise the relationships that we have. You know, Iceland is, is a magnificent country. Uh, I once uh, had a full troll, uh, the full net, some wires and ropes around my propeller and rudder and I was a vessel not under command. Mm. And that's where you shout help. And the first on the scene was an Icelandic troller. Yeah. And the only thing I got off the skipper who spoke perfect English was, his name was John. And he came and he watched me and he called the Icelandic gunboat who came up they escorted me into sheltered waters, sent two divers down, cleared my uh, rudder and uh, propeller of all these nets and wires, which took three or four hours, and then just said goodbye and off I went fishing. Now, that is what you call proper relationship. And not only is there that strong business relationship and that strong political relationship as well, but yep. there, there is a relationship almost that goes beyond that. Yep. But born by the fact that you're all fishermen together. Yes. And there's a, a sort of a brotherhood in itself, isn't there? Uh, definitely, yes. It is obviously uh, the, you, uh, the English fleet used to fish out of the Icelandic waters. Mm. And the stories and the history, brotherhood and friendship, which is, has created out of that, and even families and even blood today, it, it is unique. Yeah, it's very unique. I mean, one of those stories uh, is, is about this weekend. 
Yep. And Atlantic Fresh has uh, been responsible for organising yep. this weekend, really a celebration and, and a memory and a reflection of what happened 56 years ago in April 1954 yes. in Icelandic waters. Just tell us about that amazing story, on. 1954, eight Icelandic fishermen was rescued by an English trawler, brought them into shore, and now the relatives, they come over mm -hmm. and they celebrate in honour the only living member still of the of the whole city, which was the troller. But even though this happened, like you mentioned, 56 years ago, mm -hmm. people still remember this strongly, and we are honoring it even today. So this sums up this great relationship. It's not just business, it's lives, it's death. And there was an amazing spin-off from that story as well, because as I understand, that the, 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 the eight Icelandic fishermen had been in the sea for nearly 24 hours. Yeah. But they were in a special sort of new type of life raft, weren't they? Yes, it was a rubber, rubber dinghy, they called it. And uh, that is one of the first rescues we are led to believe of a whole crew member rescued in a dinghy like this. Mm. And the story went on that the whole city, which was the troller, they brought this rubber dinghy with them into England to introduce this type of, of uh, rescue equipment to the English. From this day in Iceland, it was 1238 lives have been saved by this. And if we can sum that up today with the family members and number of people, mm. you know, you, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a done its job well, these boats. Because of this incident, because of this rescue, which is uh, historical for our, our uh, nation and, and for fishermen around Iceland. Uh, regulations, regulations were, were, were changed, so this was uh, mandatory on, on all boats. So uh, since 1951, uh, about 1,200, 1,200 fishermen have been saved on board on life rafts. I mean, when these guys go out, you know, they go out for, well, until they catch what they need to catch to bring an income in. So it's important that the relatives are there managing the house, managing the children and managing all the affairs, really, while the, while the, the you know, the husband or partner is away. So it's absolutely vital, I think, that those relationships are completely bonded together, definitely, yeah. It's not just the whole family and all the relatives the history of that family, of those families, ever since. And this story, obviously from the 1954, it sums up for me, being a fairly young guy in the industry today, but the importance of, of like you say, the friendship and the brotherhood, mm. and we are still experiencing that in our trade today. So this is, uh, yeah, this is good. Uh, the very fact that you celebrated that in church and you've brought over a considerable number of um, Icelandic uh, men and women and families to, to celebrate that as well. Yes. In a small community like Vestman, just what is it like being involved in the fishing industry and how important is family in that? Well, well everything uh, like, like from that particular fishing port in Iceland, Vestman Island, is uh, everything revolves about the fishing. Mm. Uh, over the years, obviously, the technology of the boats have changed. But it's still this, you know, when you see your father or your brother go out at sea, obviously there's always this chance of them not returning. So obviously community like that, it's a, it is a, the togetherness is strong. And then you put the English also with it, because we have, we have a little bit of symbols like that also in Holy Greenspeed today. Mm -hmm. But it is be, being close to the sea, and you have to live with the sea, and you have to go out to the sea hassle to, to, to get the cats, mm -hmm. to feed your family. It is a, it's a special industry. And we have been celebrating, I think, about four years, or four, or maybe five years, of non-Icelandic uh, fishermen uh, drowned in the sea. But at the end of the day, you know, we've got one common objective, which is fish and fishing. And I think we should work together to secure that for the future generations of both nations. So um, it's not only about brotherhood, and it's not only about the fish, um, but there's that very strong link that the economy, your economy and our economy, are very closely entwined, aren't they? Yes, it, it is. Uh, Iceland obviously is, is uh, not as big as England, but the fishing is very important to us, and the, and the UK market is our biggest market for fish. Mm. 
So we are, we, we are very glad that the English and the Scots like the fish, and we are glad that we know how to catch it. So it is, uh, it is almost like a marriage made in heaven, so to say. We have our odd fallouts, but at the end of the day we have to love each other. <laughs> oh. As we can see, it's more than trade that links Hull and Grimsby and Vestmany in Iceland together. Deep sea fishermen share a bond that only they can know from facing danger day by day. And there's no doubt that no matter where fishermen are from, when those boats come in, everyone breathes a sigh of relief to see that their men are safely home. <laughs>